Today we have Ortiz Gonzalez Abogados, our ally from Chile. Throughout his career, he has represented national and foreign clients from the banking, construction, real estate, agricultural, and energy industries. Now let's start with the first question. And Marcos, how would you recommend a foreign client to start a venture a startup in Chile? Very simple. It's a process that would take over a month, but you need the power of, of attorney before a notary or in the Chile consulate in the foreign country. With that power of attorney, we can incorporate the company in Chile. One important thing in Chile, the investor have to appoint a legal representative. No, no need to be citizen, but resident at least. It can be a foreigner with a Chilean residency. It's just a representative before the ILA revenue. The Chilean company can be managed from uh, overseas. That's not, not, not a problem. If you are a foreigner, you don't have domicile in Chile, they can notify you. You know what's curious? In Panama, we copy also the figure of a resident Asian precisely for those purposes of having an address or so what to notify. Let me ask you, do you need more than one shareholder in the company or one single person can incorporate the company? It can be fully owned by by the by foreigner. There's no okay. limit there. There's no restriction. But usually nowadays you use a company that is called in Spanish Sociedad por Acciones. Yeah, and it's, sure. it's flexible and you can do almost waiting kind of commercial activity. Let me ask you: Are there any commercial activities that are, that are reserved for Chilean citizens? Like no, you are no. In Panama, by constitution, the retail business. Is reserved for Panamanian citizens. Chile is, is friendlier than Panama in that sense. In general terms, there, is, there are no restrictions. Any foreign can invest in the real estate in Chile. Can I register a foreign company in Chile as a foreign, foreign company? In Chile, you can incorporate an agency from a foreign uh, company. That will be like the branch of that foreign company. Yeah, exactly. It will, will be a branch with the same legal personality. Would you say it's more advisable to invest as a natural physical person? or through a company. The Chilean company, you may reinvest some of the profits and save some taxes in some cases, and you can deduct all the expenses from the income. If you invest direct as a foreigner, you have to pay the additional tax, which is very high. And you cannot deduct expenses if you have to do it as a foreigner. Exactly. Let's say I invest at a rental property. How much should I consider paying in income tax? In general terms, you have a six. A kind of tax. Excellent. You were, you will have an impuesto de primera categoría, which is the tax for uh, the general income of a, of a company, and that uh, goes up to 25 or 27 percent. Then you have the second category, which is the tax for the people who has a work contract, basically. And then you have the global income tax. You may have incomes from different sources. Then you have the additional tax, which is a tax for the non tiller resident, for the dividends or any. Kind of income from Chilean source. The additional tax is a thirty-five percent. But you can you can deduct the first category tax as a credit. So, for example, if you invest through a company and the company has paid over the year, then you can deduct the well the company has paid. The additional tax in general terms is thirty-five percent. There are uh, lower rates, but it's for some specific matters. Okay, for example, technology as some some very specific. And all not for example, for real estate. Okay. What Chile has entered to is a double taxation uh, treaties with 25 countries. Are there any property taxes to consider, like on the value of the property that you invested? It depends on the property and the value of the property. But usually that tax is, is not very high. Rounded up, one, one final question. What would you say are the three flagship services that uh, your firm provides that are aimed for international clients? Uh, I would say the first of all is general advice. Anything that for of landing, the legal representative we, we were talking uh, uh, before from uh, the power of attorney, they have to grant overseas. So we do represent the company, we open the bank account, or when they have a uh, litigation or controversies, they don't know how the things work here. And yes, sometimes things <laughs> don't go the right way. Yeah, that's why we try to do this with our allies, Marcos, because we want our clients. Uh, to understand that we're passing the responsibility and, and the trust they have already with us, with our allies. So, Marcos, thank you very much for, for, for that complete explanation. Hopefully, our audience, our clients will soon hear from you and, and we'll have some, some interest in, in what Chile has to offer. 
there are very good opportunities to invest in Chilean real estate. We do take care of everything. The power of attorney, incorporating the company in Chile, taking care of the business, renting, and then selling the real estate. So we, we take care of everything and get the returns. <laughs> Thank you again uh, for your time, Marcos. Thank you very much. Take care.